All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem, which says determine the sine angle theta for strut AV so that the 400 pound horizontal force has a component of 500 uh, director, directed from A towards C. So this force right here has a 500 pound force directed from A towards C. And they want you to find this angle and they want you to find the component of force acting along member AV, which would be this force right here. Has to be going this way because to complete the triangle has to be aiming this way. So I'm going to redraw this triangle out here to better understand the problem. It's always good to have big diagrams so you can put all your notes as you do the problem. Good habit. 400. Try to draw the lines and numbers accurately, as accurately as possible. This is 500, which is obviously longer than than um, the 401. And this is the last line, which is the member AB, which is this one we drawn right here. Let me draw it dotted so you see the parallelogram. This is the angle that we're looking for. And this angle is given, this is phi, which is equal to 40. So we're looking for this angle beta, which is the same as this angle right here. So we got two sides, and we got this angle. This angle is 40, means that this angle is 40 degrees. Just by simple observation, we can tell. We're basically going to use the law of sines to solve this problem, make it very easy. Law of sines. So the law of sine says that side A over sine of angle A is equal to side B over sine of angle V, which is equal to side C over sine of angle C. So basically, we're going to use this equation in this manner. You know that 400 over the sine of the angle sine of 40 is equal to 500, this one right here, over the sine of this angle, sine of theta. If we solve for theta, we get that theta is equal to 53.46 degrees. And that's one of the answers that we're looking for. We're looking for angle theta, which is the same as this angle right here, which is equal to 53.46 degrees. Right here, 53.46 degrees. Remember, lots of notes on your diagrams. Then we're going to use the law of sines again to find the force component AB. But first we need to figure out the last angle. Remember, there's two ways to figure this out. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180, simple geometry. Or as you can see, this is also 180. So you just subtract this two and you get this angle. You're going to get that this angle is equal to 86.5 degrees. Now notice something, the triangle that I drew, which I drew based on the drawing that the book gave me, is not very accurate because an 86 degree angle is something like this. So whenever you have that, and it's a more complicated problem than this one, you might want to redraw your whole schematic so the answer does make sense with the drawing. It's a good habit, but I'm not going to do it for this one because this is a very simple problem. So what you're going to do is 400 over the sine of 40 degrees, 400 right here over the sine of 40 is equal to member AB, which is this right here, over the sine of 86.5. If you solve for AB, you're going to get that this is equal to 621.5. One, uh, we we'll always put your unit on your final answer, pounds. 
let me redraw this triangle and not be lazy for you guys so this would honestly look something like this like this and like that so yeah that's how it would look so this would be the 86.5 this would be 53 this would be 40 etc well these are the two answers final answer